I love brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to um, come on here and share this quick dream I had last night. I actually had like some different series of dreams, but this dream right here um, stood out to me and I'm going to share it. Now, as I share this dream, I want you to take it to the Lord because this has been a very controversial subject and many um, believers in Christ always go back and forth on um, marriage, remarriage, um, and all those type of things. So therefore, I'm going to share my dream, um, what was shown to me, and what the Spirit said in the dream, and you take it to the Lord yourself. I'm just going to deliver the message. Um, before I start, um, this I, I give glory and honor to Father God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Um, the scriptures you can look up are Malachi 2 and 16, Matthews 19, 4 through 9, and also Matthews 19, 7 and 8. Okay. Um, to just emphasize on that. Genesis 2 and 18, also Genesis um, 21-24, Mark 10-9, um, Luke 17-3-4, 1 Corinthians 7-10-11, 1 Corinthians 7-15, and 1 Corinthians 7-39, and, and Romans 7-2-3. Okay, in this dream, um, I was traveling through this house, this, this, this house, like this house had different rooms and, um, this particular room, like I said, it was like a different series of dreams. Some of the, some of the things, um, that I saw, like I said, it was irrelevant, but this right here, um, the Lord stuck out to me because he spoke in the dream. And so when I looked into this room, I saw this man and this man was old. I saw this man and he was with someone else. He was dating someone else and he was trying to um, marry this person from what I understood in the dream. And when he went to sleep or yeah, when he went to sleep, but before he went to sleep, he was trying to, I guess, you know, make it official with this other woman. Okay. So when he went to sleep, he had a dream and he, in his dream, God spoke and said, you cannot marry him because I mean, you cannot marry her because your first wife is still alive. That's what the spirit told him. Again, he went to sleep. He had a dream. The spirit told him, like I said, he was trying to marry this other woman. The spirit told him, you cannot marry him. I mean, marry her because your first wife is still alive. And so when he woke up from that dream, he went to go see his first wife. From what I understood in the dream, he thought his first wife had passed. Now, how I do not know that part, but I knew that from the dream, he knew, he thought his first wife had passed. And when he went to go see her, um, he thought she was dead, but she wasn't. She was dying now. When he went to see her in this hospital, she was dying. However, she was not dead yet. Okay? So he could not be, he could not marry this other woman because his first wife was still alive. Okay? And the spirit told him, you cannot marry her because your first wife is still alive. Now, that was the end of the dream. That was the end of that part of the dream in that particular room. Take it to the Lord. I'm just sharing to you what I was shown. And I went to scriptures. And so, um, yeah, like I said, it's been very controversial. And um, 
Some saints say it's okay. Some saints say it's not. Some saints will give you Bible scriptures. Some saints will give you others. Some saints believe only one or two scriptures are in the Bible, which is we clearly know that's not true. So you clearly know that they don't know everything when it comes to that um, teaching. So I say, please take it to the Lord and let the Lord lead you yourself. You can't go wrong if you go to the Lord and fast and continue to pray on this situation, especially if you're in it. Um, my mom wasn't even on that. My mom was on actually praying for the nations and praying for the children um, and praying for the, of course, the mothers that are expected and things like that. Of course, praying for marriages, but that right there was not, that came out of nowhere. And I thank God for that dream so I can share it. And I pray that this gives someone closure or it gives someone confirmation or it gives someone the need and desire to seek God and to hear from God um, themselves. Be blessed.